Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson along with Andrew Bone. Breaking news, Elijah Brown has just committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Six foot five, 230 pound tight end here with Andrew Bone to break it all down. Bone, uh, big time uh, commitment for the Crimson Tide of the class of 2022. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, picking up a tight end this early, I think, you know, eases uh, you know some minds in Tuscaloosa because I think this is a big position of need for Alabama in this class. Um, I think they're certainly trying to sign two tight ends and you know picking up you know one of the best tight ends in the country early on and Elijah Brown, uh, huge for Alabama. This is a kid who picked up an offer from the Crimson Tide. Uh, back last May, so it's almost been uh, almost been a full year since he's been recruited by Alabama, and uh, he early, early on in his recruitment was recruited by Jeff Banks, tight ends coach, former tight ends coach who's now with Texas uh, and uh, Alabama. You know, ever since then, ever since Coach Banks left, has been you know in constant communication. Uh, coach Bill O'Brien, new offensive coordinator, has been in contact. Nick Saban's been in contact. Also, Jay Graham, the new tight ends coach, has been in contact. So you know, I think uh, Alabama's continued need to push you know, even with uh, with Jeff Banks leaving you know certainly uh, you know sold Brown on Alabama and uh, you know like I said this is a big pickup he's a big kid he's six foot five about 230 pounds extremely athletic uh, you know very uh, very talented basketball player as well and, you know, as we talked about the other day even though uh, he's a great basketball player no plans on playing basketball in college he just plans on playing football uh, at Alabama so huge pickup for Alabama early on in this recruiting cycle number three uh, <laughs> this time last year and I think Alabama only had one commitment uh, all the way until uh, until about mid-April so I'm sure Alabama fans are, are happy today that, uh, <laughs> that there's three commitments now on board He's a big boy, as you mentioned. I mean, this is a tight end that comes in with a lot of size. And uh, just checking out his highlight tape right here. I mean, what do you like about him? I mean, it, it, very versatile, very athletic. I, I mean, guys uh, kind of, um, you know, making plays. He's knocking people over. Let's talk about him a little bit more as a player. Yeah, you know, like you said, I like his size a lot. You know, six foot five, two hundred thirty pounds. His speed. He's got great athleticism. Can get open. Uh, can beat linebackers in the open field. I mean, this is a kid who's you know has great hands. Can box you out. Uh, and uh, you know, like I said, he's a uh, you know very athletic kid. That, you know, he's a talented basketball player, and I think that helps him a lot on the football field. Alabama, kind of when we look at this class of 2022, I mean, it's starting to pick up a little bit of steam. Um, I, I, I mean, where do things stand with kind of the class of 2022? You, you talked to uh, you know about kind of um, some priority targets within this class uh, recently. Uh, I mean, could potentially there be a couple more commitments this month? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, with Elijah Brown jumping on board, you know, like I said earlier, you know, I think priority, this is a priority position. Alabama certainly entered this 2022 cycle with uh, with two tight ends in mind uh, in terms of, you know, number wise uh, with Elijah Brown now on board, you're now trying to get one more guy. There's a couple guys that are out there that I think Alabama uh, holds in very high regard, and that's Holden Stays and also Oscar Delp, two kids from the state of Georgia who are heavily recruited. Uh, Holden Stays uh, just recently decommitted from Penn State, so that's somebody uh, to really keep an eye on over the course of the next few months. Uh, also, also Oscar Delp. Now, Delp may be a little bit more uh, tough to uh, to pull away from uh, from the state of Georgia. I know Georgia's very high on his list. Uh, just put, going to put out a top 12 uh, here today on Friday. So uh, we'll see, uh, see if Alabama makes that cut. But those are two guys that I would continue to watch. In terms of, you know, overall, you know, there's two more players that Alabama is heavily recruiting who currently have a commitment date set. And that is Ty Simpson, the Rivals 100 quarterback uh, out of uh, Martin, Tennessee. Uh, going to be making that commitment next Friday, a week from today. Um, I do think it's going to come down to Alabama and Clemson. I think both of those schools are very high on his list. And, you know, I would have probably predicted uh, Tennessee uh, prior to uh, to Jeremy Pruitt uh, and the staff getting fired there. So as of right now, I think it's a very close battle between Alabama and Clemson for Ty Simpson. Would not be surprised uh, either way. Uh, I know on the future cast right there it says 100% Clemson, but I think there's, as I, like I said earlier in this week, I think there's only one uh, prediction in there for Clemson. So it's not like there's uh, 10 predictions that are all for Clemson. I think it's just one guy who's made a uh, Clemson prediction. So keep an eye on Ty Simpson next week. I think it could be a great week for Alabama. And then uh, as we've already talked about earlier this week, Emmanuel Henderson, the uh, Rivals 100 running back from uh, Geneva County High School uh, down in South Alabama. He's going to be making that commitment on March 13th. Still feel pretty confident that he's going to end up at Alabama. 
And as you see there, 100% future cast in favor of the Crimson Tide. Uh, I think there's a few more uh, future cast predictions on there than just uh, uh, than just one. So uh, I think Alabama's got a pretty good chance to uh, to land his commitment. I mean, that would be a huge uh, in-state target to uh, to wrap up early on in the recruiting process. But you know, overall, wise, I think Alabama's going to take a you know, pretty slow approach. I don't think we're going to see, you know, a ton of commitments during the spring. I keep seeing all these different names. So this, this might be the next uh, commitment for Alabama. You know, here are seven, you know, 10 names to follow. I really would not expect seven to 10 commitments throughout the spring. I think we're going to see, you know, very few, um, you know, if Alabama can get Ty Simpson next week, uh, potentially get Emmanuel Henderson in March. I just think it's going to be pretty slow. I think Alabama wants to evaluate these kids and keep in mind the recruiting dead period is probably going to be lifted on April the 15th. So that's going to give uh, kids an opportunity to take visits, to go see campuses, uh, many of them for the first time. So they're going to get a chance to spend some time with coaching staffs and, uh, and also gives coaches, you know, a, a good opportunity to, you know, introduce themselves and uh, get familiar with these kids. Sure. They've been doing zoom calls and phone calls and text messages and talking to them on social media throughout the year. But uh, yeah, I know Nick Saban and uh, that coaching staff, especially with the new guys on the staff, you know, they want to really have an opportunity to meet these guys in person and, uh, you know, really evaluate them and, and see if they're going to push on. So, uh, so I would, like I said, really wouldn't expect a big number of commitments this spring. I think we're going to see it, you know, kind of slow down and uh, you know let Alabama, you know, really evaluate and and, uh, and develop these relationships. I wanted to kind of ask you. I mean, you talked you talked about it just a little bit, but you know, Jay Graham coming on board, um, new names to the staff, Robert Gillespie, uh, another name as well. Kind of these these guys who are um, particularly you know going to be the spearheaders of, of the recruiting front. Uh, if we could dive into Jay Graham a little bit, um, I, I mean, this is a a good early commitment from him and Elijah Gr Elijah Brown. Um, what what do you so far like about Jay Graham? What he's added to the staff, and and maybe you, you know what some of these other staff members um, add on the recruiting front. Well, I think, uh, you know, you bring in a guy like Jay Graham and Robert Gillespie, two guys who are well-established uh, recruiters who've done a great job, uh, you know, throughout their careers. And I think they're going to be the guys who, you know, are really going to you know, take the bull by the horns here and really be active on social media, really be active, uh, you know, when they go out, you know, hopefully go out on the road once again and, uh, and start recruiting and uh, they're going to get a lot of territories uh, to recruit. And uh, yeah, I think they're going to do well. Um, you know, Alabama also got a few, uh, you know, a few veteran uh, NFL coaches and Bill O'Brien and, and Doug Marone. I just, I, I don't know how active they're going to be, you know, on the recruiting front. Um, you know, I think we're going to see Coach Graham, Coach Gillespie a little bit more. But, you know, from what I've heard, uh, you know, Bill O'Brien's done a great job so far, you know, developing relationships, talking to kids on the phone. You know, has already, you know, developed a pretty strong relationship with Ty Simpson in only a short period of time. So it looks like he's uh, he's off and running too. So I think Alabama's going to be just fine in the recruiting department, as we always see. I mean, Alabama, they lose top recruiters, uh, you know, just about every single year, but they always reload just like they do with prospects. They do it with uh, with assistant coaches and uh, coordinators as well. Here with Andrew Bone of Bama Insider .com, talking about um, Elijah Brown, who was just committed to Alabama Crimson Tide. For more coverage on Elijah Brown, definitely go to BamaInsider.com. Six foot five, 230 pound prospect out of the state of Ohio. Um, Bone, as we kind of wrap up, you know, Alabama can go to pretty much any state and, um, you know, get the top targets. We've we've seen Alabama um, dip into the state of Ohio recently, Devontae Smith, um, and then uh, also Caden Clark. Is that correct? Yeah, you know, Devontae Smith in 2021. And yeah, even though Caden Clark was a member of the 2022, 2020 class, he did, uh, you know, it was a gray shirt, so it was brought in as a 2021 player. You had Ryan Kelly several years ago, who was, uh, who's, you know, one of the best centers uh, in the NFL now from Ohio. So you know, Alabama can go anywhere in the country and recruit players. I mean, they can go to California, they can go to South Florida, they can go to Ohio, they can go up the East Coast, Louisiana, wherever it may be. You know, Alabama is always going to recruit the best. Uh, prospects in the country and uh, you know in more cases than, than none they uh, they certainly land those kids thanks for watching our video for andrew bone and kyle henderson we'll catch up with you soon right here on bamainsider.com